Hey, what's going on everybody? Bobbles here to do my ask me fucking anything for the swearing at people and I am fucking right out of her today. The camera people aren't shooting anything with me so I decided to get right on that liquor. So I'm on the liquor today, boys. Let's see what we got here. Gonna answer some questions. First question is from Bruce Hamlin. I used to know a guy named Bruce Hamlin. No, I didn't. That was a different fella. Bruce Hamlin. His question is, what was your first kitty's name? Well, that's a fucking good question, Bruce. I'd have to think about that. My first kitty's name. I can't remember if it was Steve Austin or Timmy Nipples. Steve Austin was one of my first kitties for sure. Because I was, you know, very into the bionic man. And I had a bionic man suit. And I could run faster than anybody in the park back then so Steve Austin was one of them and then there was a guy named Timmy Nipples he was a a boy cat but he had great big nipples for some reason I don't know he was very bizarre kitty he was half I don't know if he was half rabbit or what he was but big nipples on him anyway so it was one of those Bruce I don't know Rob C Rob C asks how do you find time to both run a shopping cart repair business and care for all those kitty masks that's like a j-rock word condensed version um well i mean you know i my kitties are free range kitties as you probably already know so they're you know they have the run of the place i mean recky and julie and everybody randy everybody knows that when i'm not around you know to just keep an eye on the kitties if they're if they need anything so there's always somebody you know to look after the kitties and when i'm here obviously i look after them but that's how that works this is rondel rondel a fucking weird name rondel rondel says what's your fondest childhood memory geez that's another tough one that's a tough one fondest childhood memory i mean i used to go to the Go to the Bill Lynch fairs all the time. The big fair would come to town and me and Ricky and Julian would go there and cheat, cheat on all the games, you know, like the ring toss. I'd run a distraction scenario. I'd be like, excuse me, I think my rings are, you know, they're not right, they're bent. And, you know, I'd get the guy over and Ricky would be in there just fucking stealing all the money. And then we would take all that money over and play more games. So, I mean, it wasn't like we were doing anything wrong we spent all the money back at the fair but we were just you know recycling the money so we got to play the game for free so that was always a good time at the fair except for the time Randy threw up on me at the fair he got on one of those that ride where you stand up like this and it spins and then it goes up on its side Randy snuck on there we were only I don't know 12 years old maybe and Randy got on there and fucking thing was spinning around and he started crying and he fucking just exploded he had about nine hot dogs that day that he bought with stolen money of Ricky's nine hot dogs he just blasted nine and fucking one of them came out whole it was all unchewed hot dogs still in the bun so that just shows you how you know Randy eats like a fucking gorilla um Michelle. Michelle says, what was the best birthday you ever had? Well, that's a good question, too. Best birthday I ever had. Um, I had a birthday one time where Ricky and Julian got a lady to come over and do some stripping. <laughs> that was probably my best one. They tried to, you know, get her to jump out of a cake, but they fucking built the thing wrong and you know, they tried to get her in it, and then the top wouldn't come off. Ricky nailed the top shut, you know, not thinking. And she was in there panicking and fucking, you know, thought we were going to kidnap her or whatever. But we pried her open, and then she popped out, and she had her boobs out. Bare boobs. <laughs> that was a pretty good birthday, I remember. Um, Lisa La Custa. What is your favorite Canadian city that you visited and why? That's a tough one too. I don't like to pick favorite cities because then when I go to the other cities, people come up and start shoving me around. How come you don't like our city? 
you trash talk, I will you know, so I just don't, same reason I don't pick favorite hockey teams, and I don't pick things like that, you know, but I like, I like all the fucking cities in Canada I've been to, they're all fun, different ways, who do we got here now, Dylan, Dylan Kinsella, these people have some very bizarre names. Dylan Kinsella. How has the cart business changed since you've started? Well, I'll fucking tell you how it's changed. I used to haul shopping carts. I'd go out there by myself and fucking, you know, they'd be all over the place. And I'd be out there, you know, just reaping the, reaping the gold mine, basically. Just hauling carts all day. Now I fucking go out there and there's about six six different companies out there, you know, salvage companies, hauling shot and carts and people with cameras on them because they think it's fucking cool. Because I started that. Somehow I made hauling shot and carts cool. So now it's, you know, it's a cutthroat business now. You gotta get out there late at night, you know, and try to jack some with flashlight or whatever, you know, find them that way. Jack and carts, but kind of backfired on me, you know, having you guys filming me, making it cool. Johnny Hobo and the Magic Beans. Jesus, Johnny Hobo. And his magic, I'd like to know what his magic beans are. What is your favorite chord? And do you prefer the sound of acoustic guitars over electric? Johnny, you probably should lay off the fucking Magic Beans because... Who in the fuck would have a favorite chord? I don't have a favorite chord. What am I going to play a chord and be like, holy fuck, that chord is way better than all the other chords. That's my favorite chord. Doesn't make any sense, Johnny. Get off the fucking beans, bud. Magic beans. Prefer the sound of acoustic guitars over the... Depends, you know. Depends, you know, if you're sitting around a campfire with the liquor in you entertaining people playing songs then you want to have a acoustic they sound better there but if you fucking just want to start rocking out you know you get electric and a big amp cranker up and fucking blow your hair off so that you know that depends mm -hmm.